hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to show you how to make three quick and easy meals to help you lose weight now i'm not saying that just by consuming these meals you're going to wait, lose weight instantly or drastically you do need to put work into your body either you go to the gym and if you don't want to go to the gym i recommend you to try zumba out it is fun you're dancing and you're exercising at the same time and if you don't want to do zumba either you can just like um go outside your neighborhood or to the park take a 20 to 30 minute walk or jog or even if you have your own house and you have a yard you can do your workout out there but I do recommend you to put work in your body for this to be able to work. And this did work for me before I got pregnant. I was going to the gym and I was consuming these meals at the same time. And, and I lost 10 pounds. So it does work. It does. It did work for me. So hopefully it does work for you too. Okay, so the first thing what I'm going to teach you how to make is a smoothie. This smoothie comes in handy. For example, I go to the gym in the morning. So in the morning, I have to get my daughter ready for school and my son ready so he can be taken care of. So I don't even have time to make myself a breakfast meal. So what I do is I make the smoothie, which takes up five to six minutes, and it keeps me filled up for at least two hours while I'm at the gym. The second meal that I'm going to show you how to make is a breakfast meal. This is very simple, quick, and easy. The third meal that I'm going to show you how to make is a dinner meal, which has three of the main things that you need to consume daily, which is your protein, vegetables, and grains. In this video, I am very informative as in why I use these ingredients and how are they important to your body. And if you want to learn how to make these quick and easy recipes, just continue on watching. As you can see, these are simple ingredients and you can add oatmeal as well if you want to thicken it up. Banana has potassium, fiber, and natural sugar. The sugar is balanced with fiber and it helps to maintain a healthy blood glucose level. And you don't need to add sugar to your smoothie because when you're trying to lose weight, you want to avoid lots of sugars. So the banana comes in handy. Strawberries are rich in antioxidants and plant compounds, which benefits the heart health and blood sugar control. Milk has a lot of nutrition, a rich source of protein, benefits the bones and prevents weight gain. And if you don't want to drink this type of milk like cow milk, you can try almond milk. I recommend it. It is so good. Yogurts are high in protein, calcium and vitamins. It is good for the bones, teeth and prevents digestive problems. And if you're a woman, you know, it is very helpful when it comes to like vaginal infections. It prevents from vaginal infections, but I do recommend you to try the Greek yogurt. It is more on the healthier side. In my opinion, I really didn't I really don't like the Greek yogurt, but I will give it another try more in the future. So I take three to four strawberries, chop it up, chop the stems off, you don't want that in your smoothies, and I take one whole banana, chop it up as well, and pour it here in a, like, this is special, a special blender to make smoothies, and then I grab three scoops of yogurt. And I'm going to add one cup of milk, and that's it. And you can also pour oatmeal, like I said. And yeah, look how pretty it looks. And it tastes so good as well, and so fulfilling. Okay, now on to the breakfast meal. So this is what you're going to need. As you can see, very simple. You're going to need salt, but I recommend you to use sea salt, black pepper, and avocado and avocados are very nutritious they have more potassium than bananas they are healthy for the heart and can lower cholesterol levels the list goes on for avocados and it's very easy to add onto your diet one lime and lime improves immunity reduces heart disease prevents kidney stones and healthy for the skin you're going to need butter or oil and if you're going to use oil use olive oil the main ingredient eggs and eggs are high in protein they are good for eyesight or bones hair nails and promotes weight loss but the yolk contains a lot of calories so it's better just to leave it out last but not least you're going to need bread okay now bread is not healthy because it is going to make you gain weight and this comes in handy when you're trying to build your body like your butt cheeks so um, a few times of the day eating bread I mean a few times of the week won't hurt but if you're trying to lose weight avoid bread okay so you want to toast your bread and while your bread is toasting you want to crack up two to three eggs I use three it's very fulfilling so it's enough 
Next, I take two scoops of butter and spread it all over the pan. Next, you're going to take one avocado and slice it up in half and we're just going to use half of the avocado and slice it up into thin slices. As you can see, I divided half of the avocado onto two of the breads. Then I spread lime all over it, salt and pepper. Finally, we add the egg on top of the avocado. It tastes so good, you should try it out. It is quick and easy. Moving on onto the third meal, I took one chicken breast and sliced it up into three slices. Chicken is a lean meat with high nutritional value, high in protein, healthy for the bones, immunity boost, and weight loss. Next, you're going to need salt, preferably sea salt, black pepper, butter or olive oil one lemon to clean up the chicken meat lemon also reduces the risk of heart disease anemia kidney stones cancer and it's good for weight loss you're going to need oregano because we are not going to add the other supplements that we usually add to our chicken you're trying to lose weight you want to avoid lots of seasoning salt and sugar and oregano is antibacterial fights infections so it comes in handy you're going to need corn as well and i feel like corn you don't need to add any seasoning any salt or even butter because it already has its own good taste corn is rich in fiber it enhances your energy lowers blood sugar and cholesterol and it's healthy for your skin okay so we're going to make pico de gallo so what you're going to need is tomatoes chili serranos or jalapenos lime onions and you can also add cilantro and avocado i would like to add those but at that moment i didn't have any anymore so yeah tomatoes protect heart health improves your vision boosts that just help and protect against cancer and it's also good for your skin onions are packed with nutrition good for your health fights diseases and helps control blood sugar chile serranos are full of vitamin c more than oranges responds tissue from the effects of inflammation and protects the body against diseases now i did not know all this information about chile serranos i have recently found about this information and i am glad that they can do so much because i eat chile serranos on a daily basis you're going to need one full cup of rice rice is low in fat low in cholesterol and it has a high nutritional content and now let me say something because a lot of people say that rice makes you fat it makes you gain weight i want to clarify that yes it does the white rice does make you gain weight compared to the brown rice so brown rice is more beneficial for if you're dieting and you do need rice as for your grains part of your meal rice is fine to eat on your daily basis just don't overeat it eat a certain amount of portion okay so what i did here first is pour my cup of rice and then pour two cups of water bring it to boil on medium high heat and once it's boiled you want to cover it up and let it cook on low heat okay so as you can see i added one piece of garlic a little piece of onion and added two scoops of butter and a pinch of salt next i boil my corn and i do not add any seasoning or salt just let it boil add its own natural flavor okay since we're not going to season our chicken but we do want our chicken to taste good with flavor so we want to chop up one garlic clove and a little bit of onions I'm going to marinate or what should I say like clean the chicken um, so that it so that way it takes away that rich taste of the chicken like the shokio like I don't know and then um, I'm going to add pepper all over it and a little bit of salt and oregano 
and yes added two on both sides you don't want your chicken to be tasty plain and boring and then i grab two to three scoops of butter spread it all over the pan then i add my garlic and onions mix both flavors together let it sit for a little bit and then i add in my chicken Okay, so here's my pico de gallo, all plain and boring, so I do recommend you to add the cilantro and avocado. It is going to make a difference in the taste, and it will make your, it will put your whole meal together, especially with the chicken. It will go so well together. So yeah, I hope you do try this out. It tastes so good. So that's it for this video, and if you enjoyed this video and you actually learned something from it, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon to be notified each time I upload a video. Until next time, bye!